I am oh lucky Lord. I did not hit unmute faster. <laughs> I would rather hear you say uwu than that one. Uwu? Uwu? Yeah. I actually have to keep the new Gara. Because my original one isn't potato. Don't say the my Gara is already. Yeah, so I was going to speak Dutch better. Okay. I think all of my friends are potato. You guys have met up in the uh, third of the kitchen. Gavella. You decided to take a walk around for patrolling. Yep. Uh, so I think I still have Sid with me. Well, it's a couple days later. Mm -hmm. Unless you want to cover what you were doing with Sid, we can do a flashback to that. No, I'm good. Okay. okay. But yeah, the idea, uh, basically, the idea of this game is that they ask a question, ask what the hell's up with that, and then it just goes on to the next person. That person and ask someone then same thing. They can either say what's up with that or actually take a drink. Ooh. So, like, did it pay? Mm -hmm. How did you get wound up with the princess and all that? Like, what the hell's up with that? Oh, it's a long story. Uh, but it, it was impromptu, since the first time that we went and found the princess, by accident, of course, because we were searching for Derma at that moment, and she happens to be in the same place where Derma was. Oh. I don't think that you remember that. None of you do. Never mind. So, we happen to have, in on our mission, we happen to have the princess on our sites. And fortunately for that information, we went with it and saved her. Luckily, she is fine that moment. And we safely traveled all the way to um, Atlanta, to the Crown City, mm -hmm. of course, and brought her back to safety. Whoa. Dude. Yeah, who knew yeah. that a stroke of luck would just accidentally get us our benefit to actually help? Dude. All right. Your turn. Oh, uh, uh, let's see. Hmm. Hastia. Mm hmm Since you know all about, uh, Guamani, I am a little curious as to your involvement in it. Well, thoroughly, of course. But you also intrigue me that you, a minotaur, in a tiefling city. What the hell is up with that? Well, I'm actually only half Minotaur. My father was a daring bard before he passed. He was tiefling. But as my mother told me, um, tieflings in uh, Minotaur have a very common situation. They're both uh, created from the hell itself. So Minotaur were created as soldiers and were able to breed true afterwards. Uh, apparently, we have a similar thing where the uh, where those of uh, tiefling and Minotaur, when they are near rifts, they can feel that there's one nearby. So, so a uh, Minotaur typically either one Minotaur cultures. If you ever go to one, they avoid either religion or choose a good aligned god to help protect them from their uh, to help protect them from the reach. Interesting. Like, as yes, only when you don't want to answer the question. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, oh, uh, well, uh, see, you said that you were a soldier. Yeah. Why are you not soldier-like anymore? What the darn is up with that? Uh, yeah, family, generals, uh, my siblings are. I just don't like it. Mindless bloodshed. I like helping people. A lot better that way. As I keep going back and forth, it goes, um, Nar over to Yufei. I think Linus is rude. Uh, why? What? Um, I mean, you're able to hide what goes on, like how you look. What makes you want to be present about it? I mean, it's nice, it's just weird. Uh, what the hell's up with that? I mean, it's part of my personality. All right. Uh, I'm usually open to my family. It's not that kind of an enclosed thing that we have. I mean, it certainly didn't disturb me. Didn't disturb my family of sorts. At the time, I had two, three siblings. And I was the fourth one who came in. Oh, yes, to mention the whole clearing. Yes, I'm adopted. Okay. Oh, sorry, that was too much. Oops! I mean, it's part of my father's nature, which now it's been recognized as. It's, it's a whole thing. Long story short, it's to help the dynamic and to keep up with the play. Your turn, Leo. Hmm. I would have to go with Z. Oh, yeah. So, when it comes to centaurs, do you wear any pants? I like him curious, is all. I'm sorry if I'm bringing a brow. Just how do you wear pants? What the hell is up with that? Sit down at the uh, uh, after hearing this. I sit down. You know what? Maybe I do want to join, but I want to hear this. Uh, <laughs> you know, like usually, centaurs don't wear pants. I mean, biggest thing for us, the equivalent of pants for us would be horseshoes, I guess. Like you guys wear it to keep injuries off. Okay. Like he sort of shows off. his, which are like step in more of a plastic style. I, I have a softer hoof, so it's harder for me to get into actual horseshoes. Um, I tend to put down like on Like I don't know. I guess it'd be like you know those dogs when you see them wear the pants. So it'd be back, ah. the back legs here, oh, and then up to the waist there with the hole for you know the tail and the stuff mm. there. <laughs> no, that means you know what? I'm not gonna continue. Serious case. You don't get out there. I didn't appreciate it. No but but not really my type. <laughs> oh no! Not and he starts that. laughing. I'm just getting at you, dude. We want a doctor look at her to see if he can come up with us. I mean, the one thing would be, it's just, it's, it'd be hard for us to get pants on, because, you know, like, you see the hands go down the first, like, the back legs are a bit harder to go to. Like, that's why a lot of us, like, a lot of the soldiers will wear saddles, because the back end's weak, so you have an archer on your back, and you're fine. That's what my buddy Riley and I would do when we ever had to quest. 
Like, and then this is part of the game, but who's Riley? Oh, uh, see, uh, uh, well, I don't want to hear about yourself. He's a, he's a buddy of <laughs> mine. Uh, a little owl, woken owl guy. Uh, did you ever hear the story, of Chester? I don't know who Chester is. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. So about a year ago, the, um, so he's a little owl dude, good friend of mine. Uh, his family was in occult stuff. Nothing wrong with that. Technically, I'm part of two cults myself. I mean, it's not a stranger to mine. Uh, and he just born with magic. Greatest buddy I ever had. Smartest guy ever. <laughs> oh, yeah. You get a definition of being a sorcerer, Alan. Small size, and basically the two would take quests together. Met each other in college. Oh, that's so sweet. And they've just been, they've been buddies ever since. Even though you get the sense that, um, it was more of the fact that you get the feeling that more of, for a small Alan, it was more of a defense Bing, mechanism at first, and then friends. Make sure it's one's target. <laughs> it's not funny. But yeah. Interesting. No. She lost the cat. She recently. It's not And like, Captain, did you in on this one? Uh, yeah. I, I, I think uh, I want in now. Uh, soda or beer? Um, I'll take a soda. Okay. Dr. Lichen. Try to see soda. Well, so, so rules simple. simple. You gotta ask, uh, you only ask a question when you've been asked a question. You gotta end uh -huh. up with the bells up with that. Or you need to change it for other people. Flip it at Hestia. It goes. And if you don't want to answer the question, all you gotta do is take a sip. An old guy I met a couple weeks ago told me about this one. You need to probably take such. We're going to give it some yeah. sugar, phosphorus, uh, and so, we're going to warm this. How do you feel about going back to your home? Stuff, your with all the different home, land, wrong with country, that. home area. Um, what the hell is up with that? Yeah, I was waiting for that. <laughs> um, so, mixed emotions. Um, like, I'm kind of excited to go back there, especially with the person that I am now. The person that I was when I left, um, is not the same as now. Uh, I was picked on, used, um, uh, used for other people's gain. Uh, hell, even bullied sometimes. Um, but I, ever since leaving and doing all that I've had, uh, I have here um, with everyone that I've met along the way, um, I feel like I can go back there and really stand my own ground without people realizing that um or w w without being taken advantage of because i'm gonna make it very clear that that's no more all right. um who all is at the same right now it's so Faye, it Z, Faye, Z, 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 nar and hestia yeah so okay. um, oh my god fucking question right now Mm. You can always roll for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, remind me who Nar is. Um, uh, Nar is Nar's the guy that's been helping you out with the uh, forge. That's he is right. the, um, basically the ship bosun. He's in charge of repairing the ship, tending to the uh, engines, uh, and he's a fire genasi uh, who, in this timeline, like had that. lost an arm because the actions of us. Really oh, fuck. Okay. You um, also know uh, that he was at one uh, point Basically, whatever they did to him, the new soldiers, as they called it, he was uh, brainwashed, and he used to see a bit of the Okay. Um, really hitting Nara's arm, because I don't know anything about it. And like, so, nah. Um, what, uh, what, what happened with your arm? Um, what the hell's up with that? It's a little bit of a challenge, but it's about a point, like a bunch of fans. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, what is this here? timeline? Oh, uh, and the bits I can put okay. together. Okay, 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 okay. I didn't get rounds, that. So went after the keep ah! one more time. Uh huh. And where Vok was more oh. outvoiced uh, Jonathan, he pushed forward. Go. And, uh, this crazy, oh. crazy lady, huge tiefling, made you look small, man. Go, spray, English. Single horn her head, came by with a sword, yeah. and she said no, yeah. and left my arm. That's not great. It's right. yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, it's funny. Like was able to build a new one, it's just... Yeah. I'm just gonna sucks. keep working out left a little arm, bit about and... it. You know how so, hard it is to get used to a new cool, arm when that's your dominant it's crazy too? To with my Do you have anything oh, built into it, or is it just an arm? Uh, arcane prosthetic, and he shows it to you. And you see as the same arcane uh, tattoos just, that he has on him that mm -hmm. take up the appearance of a spell book. Okay? Uh, uh, sort of coated it on here, but more of a paint style. Okay. You know, if you want, I can probably uh, get your tools in there somehow, too. I mean, sure. Ooh. All right. I'm try anything, sure. Like, you see, sure. like, still. Since remembering, <laughs> it's been more of him having to relearn how to use this arm. Right. Well, uh, when our project is uh, finished, uh, why don't we uh, take a look into uh, getting that uh, that thing upgraded? Okay. Anyway, it's your turn. I'll uh, I'll let you take over. Here's Rocket. Bring your cows and come on over. Uh... And some rodeo. Always have a cut thing or guarantee you can get both now. These people are good. You've got to be a suit from home towns. Uh, but none better. So, I'm still trying to get timelines all together. Did you two used to date? He's a local leader. <laughs> what, and like, looks towards Faye and then points towards <laughs> Ansem. Yeah. Like, I'm. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, it's, not, it's still weird. It's Nar asking this question, like, what the hell's up with that? Uh, uh, I, I look over at Faye, like, you take this over. I literally <laughs> just went, you take this over. <laughs> no, this one's actually directed towards Faye. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, no, I'm telling Faye, like, you, you take this over, I'm not. She is <laughs> flustered and just goes, oh, look at that sign, takes the drink, drinks up, stands up. Going. Oh, okay. Well, that's uh, uh, Pink eye can eat a cow to starve itself again, as it slowly goes blind. Uh, okay. Um. So, uh, yeah, we uh, <laughs> previous timeline we dated. Current timeline, it's oh, I meant like you could you could just say like ask the next question. <laughs> Oh, not, not too, late. <laughs> too late. I'm into it now. Too late. I'm into it now. <laughs> and yeah, like, uh, I meant, I meant just ask the next I, I'm speaking so loudly out of embarrassment right now that I don't hear him. Yeah, and Nar is just like strictly embarrassed. Like the fl his flames have dulled, and he's just like, I am so sorry. That was that was not not a good. So. It's like, so, uh, basically, um, we did before, now it's a little weird, maybe it'll, uh, maybe it'll become a thing, maybe it won't, it could go both ways at the current moment, uh, but we, because of how busy we've been, like, we haven't really pursued each other, and just... <laughs> Nara's sinking in his seat, under, like, I, like, to seeing how, how, um, nervous you are, and face her off, he's like, I have fucked up so bad. <laughs> That's you. Thinking into, obviously, this is going to be a really digging hole, a big one too. And then the embarrassment after like Faye walks away, like it almost goes away immediately. And I look over at like the the newest member of our crew, the the, the Minotaur lady, and I give like this grin on my face and I kind of glare at her. 
okay. from across the table. And I grip my drink pretty tight. <laughs> and just to make things very uneasy at the table, I look up at her. Like I'm my face is looking down at the table, but my eyes are like glaring at her. So where are you actually from? <laughs> what the hell is up with that? <laughs> I'm very clear that above table, just so DM understands my intentions. I'm planning on causing like distrust amongst everybody at the table right now. <laughs> Roll me intimidation then. Oh, whoa, okay. That's a natural 20 plus intimidation. Uh, intimidation is plus six, 26. <laughs> I'm not at the four minutes, I. <laughs> I know that she's like the the easiest one to probably knock off her fucking like throw her off. So you see, as like she has this like nervous smile, but it goes stern as you ask her this. I understand you had a life that was more of the darker side, but one thing you have to understand: not everyone's lying to you. I come from the city, Kagoax. My father worked as a tra as a salesman. He would see, he would sail around delivering supplies. And I traveled here after he passed to help out my family. You can ask me that at any time, and I will tell you the same story. And I'm sorry you feel that way. She gets up and leaves. I drink. The rest of my soda. I look at the two guys in front of me, Nar and Z, and I'm like, "Not cool, man." See you later, gentlemen. And I step away from the uh, from the table myself. <laughs> is this dark anthem or is this true anthem? Oh, uh, uh, that was that was a uh, new timeline anthem. That that came out a little bit there, <laughs> causing some chaos at the table. All right, and you just get this look of like Z looking at you, going, "What the hell, man?" And Nar literally saying, "Not cool." Yeah, no, Nar Nar like saying, "Not cool." I think Z probably since he like kind of knows me somewhat, sorta probably like threw him in for a loop a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then also, I think this is the first time you guys have ever officially been on a quest together. Right. So, like, he, he hasn't, like, really even met the real me, let alone and Nar is both like, timelines. Nar has seen both timelines, and Nar's the only one of the crew that remembers both timelines. Mm hmm And he just looks at you like, not fucking cool. Even though he's still piecing them together. He, he's trying to figure out which timeline Ansem that was that peered out, and that's he's probably the only person at the current moment that might actually figure out what's going on with me, which is actually kind of weird to think about now that I think about it. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the night yeah, before you did the wish it. spell, you guys had a moment of, like, you helped him out as, like, he literally his mind control got Stupid. clicked on. And you guys Bro. got to a fight, and you helped him through this. Mm -hmm. yep. So it's like, you <laughs> that was like, it's like what fucking crawled up his fucking ass? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. It's like I was playing the game, having a good time. One moment, next moment, I'm fucking asking like somebody. <laughs> some next bullshit. Time you're like, the fuck is up with the fuck is your like? What the fuck is your deal? What the fuck are you trying to do here? Right. Yeah. It was like just all of a sudden going all serious and blunt and. Just trying to drag something out of someone who he doesn't necessarily trust, but and and new timeline and some like way of extracting information from people is probably to intimidate them at that point. All so right. it's like, yeah, no, that that there you go. That that was uh new timeline and some for a moment there. You you could say that Faye brings out the best in me because I waited for her to leave before I did that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So. Gabella, as you are sort of taking the helm during this time, watching the ship, hearing yeah. audio talks, um, roll me 
Only perception, please. Oh, perception. New, new. Perception. Bro, ding. Perception. Thank you. Fifteen plus my ten or seven modifier twenty two. All right. You do see something strange as you're sort of walking around, keeping an eye out on the ship. Okay. You see Faye and the kid together. This Faye spending time with the kid. So oh. it's a bit peculiar. It's more like, well, Leo, you describe it. How does this scene look? So, uh, Faye is just hanging out with the kid, playing around, and just Faye being so caring, too caring for the kid. But she, she's around playing cards with her and just giving like just little nudges like she's been she's been behaving like a mom. Okay then. That escalated that relationship es escalated pretty quickly. <laughs> but again, not to wear the shit in here as you just had Ansem going. Right. What is your story? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you when Jim carried the Grinch mode? Fucking <laughs> <laughs> one eighty in like in less than oh, uh, in less than. Or the mask, that is perfect. Yeah, no, the mask yeah. is my favorite movie of all time, so that makes sense. I love the mask. All right. So there, because I'm take a little bit of a break. We fill our sure. drinks. Everything else? You need some of the fun. Whatever. P A R T Y because Something I gotta. <laughs> okay, break maybe. time. All right, guys, we'll be right back. Keep going, keep going, and we'll be right back. Buy the merch. As Silly would say, buy the merch. Welcome to the Akio Skill. Buy the merch.
I am ready. <laughs> we are back. So nice. <laughs> All right. Is there anything you guys want to cover in this next dent of travel? Yes. Where's the goblin? Currently, <laughs> he's been kept on deck. Um, what time of day is it right now? I would say it's about at this so, point here. Let's say early day. Early day. Okay. He's been kept on deck. You see, as Lee Ellie has been sort of keeping an eye on him since the fiascos have been occurring, and uh, he is basically being a swat. A uh, next and it also hey, uh, Layeli, what, uh, what's he been up to? Uh, nothing at the moment, really. He's just going around. He's apparently sharpening his blade. <laughs> Sharping claws. I, I squat down. Hey. I don't remember your name. What's your name again? Han. Huh. Oh. She's gonna get up. Oh. Tal. 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 Have you ever flown before, Tal? <laughs> I can't say I have. Would you like to learn? I've got. I've got some. Uh, some new stuff that I built that I'd like to that I'd like to try with you. Roll persuasion. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and like Lieli is still there. He's, he's serving like <laughs> what? what? What is this guy trying to talk a goblin how to fly? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Does it involve magic? <laughs> he sort of he follows you. Like glorious worthy of Ahala. Yes. <laughs> All right. Take this stone. I pull I pull out a stone. Take this stone. And then come up with a command word Stop for it. it. Once you come up with a command word for it, you're tuned to it. So you hand him a stone. Yeah. Come up with the command word. Uh huh. Then what? Then all you have to do is jump and think of where you want to fly to. Roll me. <laughs> Roll me deception. Uh, you know, just so, just so you're aware, I am proficient in deception, intimidation, yep. and persuasion. Yep. Hold <laughs> on. Uh, I want to do something as well. That and is really a... roll for insight. Sure. <laughs> What'd you get? Uh, twenty three for me. Twenty three. Mm -hmm. All right, I rolled a fifteen. What is Lieli's score? Don't, don't be a 23. Don't be a 23. <laughs> uh, let's see. Inside plus three. So that's 18. 18. All right. Ooh. You see as the cataract size this goblin. This toothy grin emerges. <laughs> he steps aside the ship, whispers into it. Booyak. Booyak. As what looks like he steps across it. What is your armor class? Well, I was just going to push him once he got to ledge, but my armor class is 17. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> you don't think I can see you, fiend? You see, as soon as you go to try pushing him, give me an athletics check. 
uh athletics oh yeah no uh 27. all right got 27. I... all right you go to shove him and you see as he basically takes this boulder and like shot puts it towards your face this rock you gave him as you shove him off but yeah like, all you see is like captain go for it him going forward Shoving off tall from the side of the ship. <laughs> I, but I do take the stone to the face, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm rolling for damage right now. Okay, cool. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, you little shit! Mm. Fucking push him. <laughs> 22. 28. Okay. What do you do? Like, has catapult or some shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is just. For the rock and what he's doing, yeah. I just okay. rolled. Okay. I said 3d6 for the shot Fair puts enough. you a face. Fair enough. As you never, <laughs> you guys never found out what Tall was. <laughs> As literally, I don't think we're you go to shove him and he takes this rock and where he was going to throw it, he basically clams it into your face. He goes off the side of the ship. You take 32 points of bludgeoning. Oh, okay. So he I got a crit. Uh, excuse me, I got a little. I actually. Damaged myself too much. I put 28 up. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, yeah, as you go, whew, you just feel as a. Oh, actually, I still didn't damage myself, right? Hold so, on. Tal's off the ship. He just. Literally, you down. just saw as Ansem shoves Tal off this ship, and Tal takes the boulder as the last go. move and smacks it into his face. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's like you little shit and fucking like, you slamming shit. him. Kings. Boom. All right. So yeah, uh, Leoli can't react too fast at this point. I, I like. I like touch my face and like I look at the blood on my hand like I slowly become angrier and angrier. You could see like my shoulders rising and dropping very rapidly. Like you could tell I'm getting angry. I'm not raging, <laughs> but I'm getting angry. <laughs> what? I get... What? Why? <laughs> he... And like he's he's like going to the corner and trying not to fall. <laughs> it's like if you're going to speak, spit it out. Captain. You see his Navi emerging oh. on the same side of the deck. Yes, Navi. Here, make a wisdom save. Uh nineteen. Just a flat nineteen. Okay. I actually was hoping I'd roll low this time, you but have disadvantage from Heidi. Oh, per... oh yes. Oh, it was five. supposed to be for the athlete. Okay, five. <laughs> five. As you do, you see as Navi reaches out the hand, holographic sigils emerge, an aura comes over you. You're under the effects of calm emotion. I uh, calm down. And you so hear on the ship, man overboard. Position to, position to be able to, uh, do, okay, I know what I said before during break. Do I remember this happening? I do. You tell me. Is this something Ansem remembers? Or is this something you think it's sort of like most personality where he's figuring it out? I, actually, I think that this would be more interesting if it came in fragments, but that he doesn't remember everything that happened. Okay. Like, like a blind rage sort of thing. So... I remember two days ago telling them about the relationship. Mm -hmm. Nothing else during that time. Oh. Two days of your time have been missing. What? You see yourself now as Lieli frantic at you. Navi is standing there and you yeah, hear the alarm of Man Charles. Overboard. Who remember Tom has been shoved? What? I know. Well, I know who the fucking perpetrator is. What? Calls over. 
where's the rope? We need to tie the rope over on, on onto the side of the ship. We need to like I start like listing things that we need to do like Captain, out loud, but also while moving. Stand down. You hear as Navi just looks at you sternly. I look around. I'm assuming everybody's like looking at me right it's now. Right. I would at this moment here. You guys yeah, have heard the alert. You could be heading up there, but right now, Lieli and Navi are looking at you. They are the ones right next to you. Okay. I put my hands up. I'm like, as Char see, character and like, players really nervous right you now. You look over <laughs> and you see like, Tall is falling slowly, except they're out of the range of the rope they would have to catch him. Um... Nobby's training has come in. I just. How far uh, uh, can we shock. go? Just shock on my face. I got my hands uh, hands up and everything. I'm just like, what? You see as Nar comes uh, up there and Navi points overboard. You see as he books it, jumps over, and starts to fly, grabbing him. Navi is always watching. Damn it, I wanted to kill this goblin, but it's fine. It's fine. It, killing? It's fine. Yeah, but this is just straight up murder. <laughs> so, so at this point, it would be Lee uh going to Navi and say, Did we, did we caught him? You see his Nars flying back up. Spectral wings of fire just following him. Five, all right, it's like perfect. Darcy, like, I'm trying to fucking save you, asshole! Good, at least it's safe. As for you, takes the uh, service blade, takes it out, points it at um, Ansem. You, Whoa. however, Mipana, you got a lot of explaining to do. Um, one moment I was at my forge, the next moment I was up here. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let me jog your little memory. You see, Back in my I mind, get the impression that you were trying to be friendly to this goblin. And sure, I hate him, despise him, but he's still a part of the crew. And yet you have the bolas, the cojones, to give him a rock and just say, Oh, just did you a let the mag magic little thing is there? And then persistently to shove him off the ship. First of all, I didn't make a magical rock. Second of all, I didn't shove him off the ship. Oh, so I'm lying. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm saying that one moment I was below deck, the next moment I was up here. And you have to admit, we are a band of adventurers that have dealt with stranger things. Oh, there's nothing stranger about you, my friend. Now that I know your real attitude, you want to screw me off with your little mind games. Well, I'm not having it. Um, Navi! I, I'm... Oh, wait, yeah, how, how, how long does calm emotions last? Uh, currently... One minute. Cool. I'm gonna check to see if uh, every it... sentence you guys go back and forth, I'll count as one. Like basically, every time both of you say a sentence, or every time you say a line to each other, it'll be one round. <laughs> right. You're currently at um, you have eight rounds remaining. Okay. You see as Lovely. a major image oh, emerges of what looks like you. It's exactly what you said. A blue hologram of you. Handing a rock to Tall. And then... Oh, I forgot the hand signature for Zoom pop-up. And uh, literally you shoving him off as he slams a rock into your face. As you tell him that would allow him to fly. And you see the moment that you recognize as Navi casts calm emotion on you. This, this doesn't make sense to me that I, again, I was down below deck, suddenly up here, apparently things have happened in between then and now yeah. Nah, when was the last time I was down there working on things? Assuming, well yeah Nar Nar's up here 
Yeah, no, he's he rescued for Tal. Like he's in... five hours, man. <laughs> he's over Jack Narcos. Okay. He had stuff he had to deal with. <laughs> Took some tools. Mm hmm. I don't remember saying that either. Um. What? Just five hours. I'm missing five hours? Oh. I've, so I've been gone for five hours. You've been walking around the ship, man. It's just fucking. Okay. Hestia! Uh, you see the rope wraps around Tall once more. Leo. You've been walking around. you doing mm. weird stuff around the ship for five hours. Tie me up. Now. I mean, say no more. <laughs> he grabs the rope from his backpack and just goes ahead and tries to. All right, uh, step up to the mast. Right up. I I put my back up against the mast so that way you can tie me to the mast. All right, hands up on your back. This is definitely gonna turn into once film emotions ends. I'm going to be like trying to fucking bite everybody's face off. <laughs> no, this is worse because this is the day of the encounter. <laughs> so. Uh, he tights the rope with the hands, and he's going for some fancy loop-de-loop -loop and just goes around his waist. Um, ties yeah. it up real tight. Right. Keep it compliant. Um, I go over with Nar while I'm getting tied up. I'm telling. I tell Nar the last thing that we worked on on the forge to get an idea of how much time I've lost. Oh, yeah. Did you get up? Like, Nar is... Nar is usually friendly with you. Mm-hmm. He's looking at you the same way you... Like, basically the equivalent of the way you looked at him when you stopped on that part. I can't like, what the hell is wrong? Such force. Oh, most. Hmm. Okay. Um. Whatever is happening, I didn't do any of this. Any of the pushing. I gave Tall a second chance before serious repercussions and like the serious repercussion would have been like tossed in the grid not throw him overboard there... no there's no reason why any of this should be happening where's my dice stop there it is i was like the fuck the one thing i need for this game no, it's <laughs> a 17. All right. Next. So. Yes, uh, as this goes on, I still see the tension in crew members around. I'm not sure happy. what to do with oh, the crew. That's a really good job. We've implemented every step inside. You're tied up, Lieli. Give me an athletics check, please. And then as soon as this calm emotion to where I laugh, I do need to know. Uh, 21. Ooh. Well, Ellie is pretty acrobatic. You also have an advantage to use if you want to. Uh, I mean... <laughs> don't think I need advantage. Okay. Yeah, I don't really need that, because right. I rolled a one. <laughs> Alright. <Cool>. So. <laughs> you don't need to take it. Okay. As Ansem's tied up, and you're saying this stuff, the rope firmly tied. Sudden, you see as Nar walks up to you and, like, puts this bar towards your chest. Clicks a button. Just stays there. A bar? As plat like, it looks like a silver bar. Okay. And it just stays there, like, as it if it's not there, going like to move? Air, like, you feel pressure right against you. Just enough so you can breathe. Like, gotcha. Okay. Basically, you move Vorog. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. As looks at you and goes, as you 
see, as you see this, the calm emotion fades. Um, as soon as calm emotions fade, I go into this blinding rage. I start like trying to tear through everything. My storm aura sets uh, sets my body aflame as I'm trying to shred through everything in front of me. I am just trying to get out of this. I'm trying to I'm trying it, it appears that I am trying to kill everyone in front of me. Give me an athletics check. Uh I need to double check something real quick. <laughs> uh You said athletics? Yep. Uh, 21. All right. The ropes, you know, they break them, but you're still trying to move forward. You're pinned against this thing where the bar is. Oh my gosh, what now? Nah, no, I just, I keep trying to lunge at whoever's, in, whoever's closest in front of me. Oh, um, Billy Ellie. Yeah, yep. I'm. I'm not speaking. I'm just clenching my teeth and like again. I'm on fire, basically. Um, active ca acting captain Faye Moriarty, come to upper deck. Uh, in a minute. <laughs> Faye, Faye's all like acting captain. What? <laughs> it's like I imagine by this point you guys get up there. You've seen either. You can say either you got there when you saw him being tied up and heard what happened, or it is a situation of you got there and see that fucking Ansem's going ape shit but, at nothing. I am seriously. So why am I getting acting ca? Feral Tiefling <laughs> has gone feral. <laughs> uh, what is going on? Why is and some all the attempted feral of crew member tall I feel like we've received so much now. I feel like we are doing oh. our job but well then uh that's nice I really appreciate that I mean, well, to be fair, we we kind of have a, like a little insecurity with Tal, but I seriously know. throwing him off the ship Again, blind rage. I might as well be deaf too at this point. I'm not listening. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking the whole raging. Uh, I'm just imagining uh, 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 I'm, I'm just throwing. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody like tosses a, a, a bone in and I just tear it up right there. <laughs> 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 I was about to make the joke, but I do react to fuck. And I'm like, what? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's why we get him out of it. Just go, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Guys, it's working. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> so, <laughs> your face is like, Distraught doesn't know what to do at this point because uh, we have a feral captain who is tied up and got all foaming at the mouth and flaming. I feel like um, if anybody's seen like a playthrough of FNAF Ruin, the noises that fucking Monty makes just run, run. <laughs> <laughs> Just constant that. <laughs> Jenny's giving me a look right now. <laughs> Don't look at me. You deserve a look like that. <laughs> so, Faye at this point is like, okay, um. I, I mean, I don't want to throw him overboard because part of the team, but he's also oh, yeah. captain. I don't know. <laughs> She's just like, throw him overboard. We don't want to deal with him. <laughs> Throwing him in the water might cool him off. <laughs> uh, we do have jails set up, right? Yeah, we got the brig. 
Good luck moving me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, someone can knock him out. Very Somebody better have like a long ass fucking wad to hit me with. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyone who has the strength thing, just don't kill him. Let's let's have him on the prig. And we can sort of deal this uh, this <laughs> issue. Like you see Tell it. don't do anything stupid. Get inside. Yeah, don't do anything He's fucking stupid. tied up and that's just like, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm moving him away. Uh, so. Yo, Bella, what are you doing at this time? I want to know. I'm curious. Yes, you're, moral, you're a morale officer. I, I'm doing everything <laughs> that I can to try to bend this fucking rod. It's just um, not budging, and I'm just like... <laughs> what was I last doing? Um, this is a new day. So usually when so it's been a couple days, you were doing the views, you saw what happened with uh, the kid mm -hmm. and such. I just imagine Heidi like just da 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 da. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's probably what I'm doing. Is someone going? Not why? <laughs> Yeah, just walks up the top deck and is like, you know what? I got things to do this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like. Get that card walking up with me. Huh? <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough for this. <laughs> <laughs> We're all officer. Fuck this. Everybody needs therapy. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, our buckle gets back and there's just a whole <laughs> list. Of... <laughs> it's like literally everybody on the ship is just like listed for therapy. Anson's <laughs> listed for uh, anger management and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, it's like, at first, he started off. Anger it's just management is Vox, not Vox. Huh? I said anger management is like by Vox, not Vox. <laughs> oh, God. That, that would be horrifying. Vox dealing with anger management. All right. So here's what you do you just take that anger and you beat the shit out of someone. <laughs> Oh, cool. I was already doing that. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like, that, that's Ansem's problem. That's Bad Timeline's Ansem's problem. His anger management, he was going through Vok and not someone who knew what they were doing. Yeah. All right. And I was like, yeah, I can see you, like, in Devel walking up going, the heck are you guys doing? Um, well... Uh they have reported to me that, um, Ansem here, all raving up and fire itself here, um, threw Tal overboard. Did what? Why? It, Why? It, it involves a rock. I'm, I'm imagining his scar, yeah. and, like, that thing on his forehead will be oh gosh is this bleeding <laughs> or oh, that's just more like yeah that that is that is sweat. it's oh. gonna push any heart push any harder he develop a hernia at this point give me yeah. another athletics check oh god you're raging so it is with advantage <laughs> yeah I've, I've been i've been when well, last time i i roll uh so 19 plus 9 28 oh so close yeah, no. Oh. I, only, only way I can get any higher is with a net 20. <laughs> yeah. Damn. The yep. rod of... The rod is... The immovable rod has a DC of 30. Oh, shit. Well, yep. I'm not going to be able to beat 30 even with a net 20. It'll be 29 if I get, I get a net 20. However, it would be funny if it, like, just budged. So that way, like, Nar would, like, have the same look as Thor when, like, Vision, like, moved the hammer. And just, like, fuck it. Just... <laughs> uh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong. I need a better immobile. Or, or less, no, less that and more the look that he had on his face when Cap went to go pick up the hammer in Age of Ultron and it budged a little. That would be more like the look that he would have. Oh, like, concerned, right? like oh, it's, shoot. To describe Nar's look just... right now is a look of... 
probably get out of that. So it's like more of like uh Capella, you hurry and figure something out. <laughs> like, yeah. Capella, you wanna help? Sure. How how am I gonna help how wow. So many questions. I'm gonna kill all of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little Mr. Pissy Pants. <laughs> Don't look taller than me. Out. Yeah, knock him out. I will take a dilly bar, please. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> a dilly bar? <laughs> thing. A dilly bar. I heard Dairy Queen, so I was like, I. Mm. Oh. Ice cream place. Guys, oh. guys, I know what to do. Let's get him something really cold so that way we can put him out first. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Up. What do you do with things that heat? You cool freeze them off. it. <laughs> what if that was like the way to get Anson to stop raging was to fucking cool him off? You just toss ice cubes at him. Like, <laughs> just because I'm wild, don't want him. <laughs> like, like he. The, the thing is, if that were to work, he'd probably just sit there and be like, "What the like a cat reacting, getting getting hit with water, like <laughs> what the fuck." <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Faye there with the spray bottle. <laughs> no, bad, 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 uh, please don't hurt him too bad. We can no. heal him later, but right now we need him to be just knocked down. Like, okay. Is anyone strong enough to knock him? It, I mean, it doesn't have to be physical. It could be magical. We could just put him to sleep. How about that? It would suck if I had immunity to sleep. Yeah. I don't, but it'd be, it, it would. would suck if I did. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Do I have anything that I I'm checking my spells too to see if I have it. I have calm emotions, but nah. I have hold person, but that's with a wand. Uh, for for the fun of it, can I just scream out with thaumaturgy so that way I just sound louder while I'm yelling? <laughs> sure. Cool. I, I just, every time I ah, I just fucking super loud as fuck. <laughs> All right. Any solutions or any plans that we can deal with him? Now, completely dead skeleton, that's uh, eat a bunch of stay alive. Oh, fine. Just bad and do it quick. More serious. If you can. Where are you during all of this? Like, are you in front of me? Are you off to the side out of my line of sight? Because, like, I'm just. Like he, is, uh, Faye is like line of sight. The only one that's close to you is just Lee Ellie. Okay, so I'm going to like tunnel vision on Lee Ellie to explain like why I'm acting the way I'm acting now. So, yeah, no, I I'm currently tunnel vision on the stupid ass rod that's in front of me and Lee Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> Player doesn't think it's a stupid ass rod. <laughs> and so thinks it's a stupid ass rod at the moment. <laughs> Alright. So um I got something. Alright. He's see. got the touch. Da, da, right, you see as he, like you see as Nard looks at you for a second with a hand, a couple of tattoos flare up and he takes a bit of molasses in his hand, flicks it towards you, make a wisdom save. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, 16. 16. Wait, molasses? He's burning, right? Yeah. Oh. I'm on fire. Man. I deal fire to anyone barely who comes failed. within 10 feet of me. Barely fails. I barely fail. All right. You f as you're... <laughs> you're moving in slow motion. Your movement speed is halved. You have a negative 2 to uh, armor class. <laughs> As you're okay. under the effects of slow. <laughs> no, just imagine it's just the slower than. <laughs> yeah, no, the slower than slow motion too. 
As soon as soon as it like leaves the the string like leaves my body, it moves at normal speed, yeah. and that's basically. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, face just laughing because of the slow motion. Um. I mean, does anyone want to help? <laughs> Look, sorry. <laughs> at this point, He's now talking. tunnel now I'm tunnel visioning Nar, but like very slowly, <laughs> just. Ah. Just looking at Nar because I know he fucking did something to me. <laughs> yeah. All right. You guys, better get off deck. If you don't want to. Yeah, let's everyone inside. Bah. Let's go. Uh, somewhere. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Let's go. 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 Quick. Goes to the removal rod underneath it. Taps the button as you guys are gone. I go to deck. I, 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 since he's coming within my range, I go to deck him. All right. <laughs> uh, uh, at disadvantage because I'm slowed, right? I got double check slow then. I, mm. I have not used this spell in a long time. The only time I used it was when. <laughs> no, that's that, that that's fair. That's fair. Five. All right. So, um, effects feature negative. Uh, it can't. No, you just can't use a reaction, and you can either take an action or a bonus action, not both, regardless of the creature's abilities or magic items. Okay, so then I can still go for two punches. Yeah, you can still. No, you only make one punch. One punch. You give so one, one punch. Tw tw Twenty-eight to hit. Twenty is better than hit. So yeah. Uh, uh si six points of bludgeoning damage, and since he came within my. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot that I have uh, bonuses due to rage. Uh, so six. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage. And um, you set fire to the rain. Uh, four fire damage. All right, so it's gonna be two for him. And you just see as he's like, basically starts backing up and goes, "What you gonna do something, punk? Come on, asshole!" And like he's backing up, literally trying to goat you to that room. As you see, as I see him doing that, I stand there. I reach back and I grab my axe, but because I can't use a bonus action, I'm not pulling it out yet. <laughs> roll a, um, all right, roll initiative. Rolling initiative time. Anyone who wants go, to join go. this, help. Uh, you can. Uh, oh, I oh, Lee Ellie's going to do it, actually. Um, no, rolling initiative? If you yeah. want to join in on this or just watch the shenanigans. Eight, eight, 18 to 18, uh, 18 for the initiative. Lee Ellie is deck? gonna. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. plus two. Okay, that goes before you. Okay. Uh, Gilbella's a 19. 19? Uh, 21. Okay. Not a natural 20. So. Sadly. Because Nar is, like, basically trying to goad him, seeing that he's focused on him. Lee Ellie, you're first on this. Uh, Liel is gonna go to the brig and try to open, uh, try to go as fast as the rig to go to the brig and try to open one of the, uh, bars just to, like, set up a ready and go to shut it. Alright. So he's going on, on his way to the brig. Okay. Yo, Bella, what are you doing? I'm gonna help with the brig. Okay, so you guys are running down there, basically, to get in people. Move! Get, go! He's heading this get, way. Come on! Stay hidden. Don't let him see you. Well, I'm fucking, like, basically evacuating the ship as Like, best literally, as they're trying to get him, like, to the engine room or spots that you wouldn't see them. So it's just, I imagine it's, like, just so Nar's there. And, like, Nar is... Oh, gets. There's soon, so many. There's so many references I can make. All, all I can think about right now is. I can't move back up, man. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Nars going to. And Nars just sort of stands there for a bit, waiting until he gets a clear of you guys having the door open. Okay. All right. So. After he gets that, you feel that you move at full motion again. Come on, dickhead. <laughs> what, you call that a punch? Did, wait, so... Is Nar giving up his, his action? No. 
Okay. Nar's what, what, literally what? goading you right now. Okay. As he's like just standing there telling trying to call you in on this. Alright, well obviously I'm gonna go after him and attack him. Only okay. this time with my great axe, so there, there's that. <laughs> so as soon as you get within range of him. Yep. Uh, 19 plus 9, 28 hits, right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like, <laughs> fucking no doubt about that. And what is your armor class? Oh, yeah, what's your armor class? Seven, 17 is my armor class. Okay. Uh, wait, oh, wait, no, that was during slow. I was like, uh, I was going to give you my right. reduced armor class. So the second one doesn't hit, but you see the first one collides with your face. Oh. You take 8 points of thunder damage. Oh, okay. sorry, nine points of thunder damage. Okay. And you have disadvantage on attack rolls not made against Nar. Not made against Nar. So he wants me to full on focus on her. Literally, he is fo like focus fire. Okay. Is that compelled duel or compelled something? something? No, that's just uh, the guardian set. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, it's not compelled duel. Uh, he as cool the as that would have been. <laughs> All right. Um. Is it my turn or does he have more it's your turn. Okay. I needed to make sure before uh, before I swung. Um so fucking math because plus eleven. Uh twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five doesn't hit. Doesn't you see, hit? You see as one of his tattoos what? flare up, a spectral shield emerges and you just <laughs> You son of a bitch. Alright. Okay. Uh what about a uh twenty-nine to hit? Twenty nine is gonna hit. Okay. Uh, excuse me. Jesus. Fuck. Okay. Oh, you said nothing. Did you say? Uh. Ba 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 ba. Da ba 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 ba. I need my D sixty wall. Okay. Uh. 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 Oh fuck. Did I count that right? Yeah, so 20 points of slashing, and why did I have to roll max twice? Um, I think it was four. How much slashing? 20 points of slashing and uh, brain function, uh, 10 points of fire damage. All right. Um, with that, with that. I forget how much math I have to do as a bard. <laughs> 20 points of slashing. 20 points of slashing, 10 points of fire. Right. 30 damage total. So, fires have for him, he has fire genasi. Okay, that makes sense. <sighs> you just see as he's like, still goading you. You have one dip. Again, going in. Uh, hot, 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 motherfucker. Hot, hot. Seven plus. Nineteen. We've had all the dice. And yes. the fourteen on the dice, so twenty-eight, twenty-five. Uh, yeah, those were three. Okay. Wait, last night when I got home. So. Sixteen points of thunder damage. As he like literally stepping down the stairs, still calling it. Come on, motherfucker! What? You call that a fucking swing? I can, I, can I have again. seen Tall hit harder than that. So I run at him and I go to swing at him again. When I go to swing at him, I yell out, "Kill me!" Uh, 24 to hit this time. 24 is not gonna hit. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's gonna be a uh, 30 to hit the second time. 30 is gonna hit. Um, plus 5, that's... Uh, 15 points of slashing, and... Uh, six points of fire damage. Uh, half is three. Right. Thank you. Yep. Um, but yeah, no. I, I, when I go to swing at him the first time and I miss, I like basically I, I tell him put me down. Uh, and that ends my turn. Okay. Oh God. So 
a dirty 20. Set. And attack and against natural him, are made okay. with advantage. He rolls a natural one. Oh, okay, so. Oh, okay. shoot. So you see, ah, as ah, first hit, Dar is putting on a good front, oh, but it's showing what's the damage he's taken. The arm is a little, is he's just one swing goes wide. You see the old, second one he goes in for by your ribs. You're gonna take eleven points of thunder damage. Think of fucking your mind. You are weaker than I thought, huh? As he's backing away, would you like an attack of opportunity? I would. All right, roll for it. The whole thing is either one, if he can get you to that cell, or two, you knock him down. That was a 30. 30 to hit? Yeah, that was another 30. Uh, yeah. Um, I just realized that I was uh, mathing wrong uh, a little bit there, too, but it'll be okay. Um... Brain, do the math. Silvery Bart, roll again. Oh, oh wait, what's that with advantage? <laughs> oh, that's right. It was with advantage, it was wasn't with it? Advantage. Never mind. Go back. So yeah. And plus, no, it, I think I use. I don't think. Yeah, sorry, that was with advantage. Roll again. I want to know what you get. Oh, okay. Uh, I think I already rolled. Uh, I would have uh, rolled a seventeen with that, or not seventeen, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Okay. So Silvery Barb, re-roll that one. Gonna use reaction on your reaction. Oh wait, no, he can't. It's his turn. Oh, he can't. He, can't he just takes the fucking hit. Uh, so twenty points of slashing damage and uh four points of fire damage. That's already halved. And he is right. about to be screwed. You see, as he makes it down the yes. level. I'd still look at you. Just eight points. Okay, so it's you get Come on. I think this is worse I've taken. He knows. He knows how to Fuck my grandma. Uh, my dead grandma hits harder than you. I, 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 uh, I, I will ask this to the DM. Yeah. Ansem has never been dumb, even in his rage. However, I did point out that he was in a blind rage. Am I going to continue following Nar, or am I going to be compelled to attack him while also being aware of my surroundings? I will say, I'll ask you. I'll I'll let you decide. Just to remind you, mm -hmm. you know how the armor works. Mm -hmm. Specifically with the armor, it gives when he hits you with a with his gauntlet, it makes an irritating thing that gives disadvantage on attack rolls against other creatures. So right. how would Ansem in this state? take that axe. I think that he would still be tactful because this type of, uh, this version of Ansem it, it still has that tact. He's just an asshole. Okay. Um, so he would he, he wouldn't fall for an easy, oh, I'm going into the cage now. Oh, I'm, I'm doing it. Like, he, he won't fall for that, but he will still be willing to take out this target regardless. Okay. Um, so he probably won't follow him into a cage, but he'll still try to kill him. All right. Nar. Um, <laughs> so where's Nar right now? You see him down the stairs. You can easily, you, basically he's making it so that he's trying to lead you to that area. Right. Again, it's more of like, this is the only way we got to do it. <laughs> so the first roll is a 27 and the second roll is a 29. That with advantage? Uh, no, that's not. Oh, I forgot about advantage. So the first attack, it, it was, uh, the first attack would still be a 27 and the second, uh, the second attack would still be a 28 because I rolled lower above. Okay. Okay. Um, does he like a silvery barbs me or anything like that? No, he already uses it. Uh, nah. Okay. Uh, first tag. Uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen slashing, and four fire already halved. The first. Second is going to be thirty slashing, or not thirty. Twenty slashing, 
and uh, five points of fire uh, already had. All right. For a total of. What was the first damage again? Uh, it was 20. So if it was five fire, it would be 25 total at the end with that second attack. Okay. And the first attack? Oh, the first attack was. Uh, it's like 14 or 15 slashing. I'll go with 14 slashing, and uh, it was four points of fire damage. All right. So. Yeah, I think that was under. <laughs> He's standing right by the brig. Not looking good at all. Um, oh, he's standing by the brig, so... Like, yeah. No, this is Nar standing by the brig, trying to get him to come at him, literally just so him. You know what, I see why Faye doesn't want to be with you. God! Is this okay, how nah. bad you fight? <laughs> how badly do you fuck, then? Come on! Um... Yeah, no, now Ansem's going to be stupid. And he's going to <laughs> run him through into the brig. All right. Uh, does he does he hit me at all, or is he right now? He's he just standing at right by the brick door. He books it towards the brick, looking at you. And goes, just no. says that remark. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. Uh, twenty-seven. I would say this is with advantage. These or... attacks are with advantage. Okay, yeah, the first attack rolls a 27 at total then, and uh, two 27s. Alright. I so. feel shitty right now, guys. Oh no, you're <laughs> gonna feel real shitty right now. <laughs> <laughs> this was his last stand. Ah! As you oh, no. book it in there, hitting him towards there, he like grabs onto you as you're just slashing away at him, striking away. You hear as he yells, shut the damn door! First okay, hit goes I... in, the body goes limp. Second hit. It's cleaved in two. You brought Nar to zero hit points. That was his last stand. He chose to not make death saves and fail. Just to get you in there to keep everyone safe. I'm going to point out right now, I don't know how Ansem is going to recover after he comes to from this. I really don't know how he's going to recover. Oh, 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 oh. You guys just hear, bad. shut the door, I'll get out. And then you see through the bars that you slam it. Oh, no! So, uh, shoot, 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 shoot. He, Lieli is quick to close the door, but after he saw the last hit, immediately he's shocked. He couldn't stand as just tights closed, shut the glades, and see this the the thing in front of him just no and he's literally on the floor my you hear in your head you know how it feels not to be in your right mind that sucks find a way oh come on to help him best way you can give him an answer because he's, oh, my he's fighting to my credit hurts. I'll take him in the back. You guys have a seat in the front and we'll clean it up. Um, my rage probably would have dissipated regardless at that point. Um, Only wisdom save. Natural one. You decide one. the DC on this. Okay. I rolled a natural one. So. All right. We open up the oh, access. Man, yeah. Rage, um, disperses. I'm assuming if I failed, that meant like a calming. I'm leaving it up to you. Okay, well, this. 
uh, honestly, the, this is how I, w I would want to at this point. I don't, I don't think I can, like, again, I don't know how Ansem's going to recover from this. So it's like one of those things where it's like, um, Ansem, like, he takes his axe after he calms down and he, like, pushes it through the bars away from him. Um, and he drops to his knees and he, like, looks at Nars, like, separated body. And, like, Ansem's just in tears and he's like, I told you to kill me. Why didn't you kill me? Why didn't you kill? And, like, I'm taking the half that is his torso and I'm, like, shaking his shoulders. I'm like, why didn't you kill me? Roll insight. Or history. Oh. Insight or history. I don't think either. Okay. History has a plus one. Um, so 18. During some of your downtime, you have you've talked to Nar for a bit. You've been working with him on this for a while. That forge. And you got to know him a bit. Nar to help his family basically sold himself to be a new person. So yeah, and what they did beautiful. was they took away any he was, just, you know, he was a mindless drone for them. It turns out so he's been shaking off some you get the feeling in that sense he saw the same so thing that he went through with the things. and knows that not that it wasn't your fault but that you weren't in control it wasn't handsome or something else I get a feeling that's where his mind was in that moment. As you also know, he could have dealt plenty of damage towards you, but he chose to hold back. I was a fighter, but this was, a, this was him holding back just to get you to a place that you wouldn't harm anyone. The cuts that I made on the inside of the building um at this point after like i'm done with the whole why didn't you kill me shit i just silently sit at the far end like up against the the ship basically um the wall of the ship and i just sit there and i like stare off into space into nothing i'm just i can't like I don't, I, I, I honestly don't know how to role play Ansem right now. He's he mentally he is fucked, and so he's not going to want to say anything. He's not going to, want to do anything. He honestly thinks that in this moment, Ansem thinks that he should be slaughtered because he put his family, his friends, in harm's way, and he even killed someone that he cared about. rest of the crew you get the call that it's all clear when it's finally closed and you see there's a major one to be done that could be construction and working in the middle it's time what's, to break down what's the wall going on <laughs> officer yes again She she like couldn't for a moment she like she's paused she is frozen at the moment and like there's the sound of disbelief and she quickly just goes towards the Briggs he she well she goes down there saw uh. Sally Alley on the floor, just kneeling down on the floor, just distraught. Bella, uh, what are you doing yeah. at this time? Mm -hmm. Who, me? Yeah. Yep. What was Gilbella doing? Oh. He was one of the people to help shut the door at the brig. Clear people out and get him to the brig. Um...
I think I'm with Lieli, aren't I? Everything yeah, it's so. Okay, so hard. So I think Gobella would be kind of. <laughs> Danny, this is not helping. We can hear you. Uh, I am telling you, right. Yeah, they're like, Danny, we can hear you. <laughs> Don't make me laugh at this she, sad moment. She is quite literally talking about how she's glad that she didn't wild magic surge me while we were in the middle of that shit because. Oh, no. because she, like I turned around and I looked at her and she's like, "Are you okay? You don't look okay." I'm like, "No, I just killed Nar. I know that name. Why did you kill Nar? Why?" I'm like, <laughs> I was in a blind rage, and then he started talking about like how poor uh, or why Faye wouldn't want me, and so he just zoned in and, and split him in two, and now he's in a cell all by himself with a split in two Nar, and she's like. <laughs> Horrified look on her face, and then was telling me the wild magic search. Anyway, continue. Sorry. Um, I think Gobella would be kind of like kneeling beside Liali, trying to like, can, like console him at this point, trying to like wrap around the, what just happened herself, but trying to like be there for him as well. She's tattling on me. <laughs> She's telling Mark I yes. killed Nar. Yep. Oh, the... him. Oh. Oh. I sent him this message going, well, Arbuckle, ha Arbuckle no longer has to do therapy appointments with Nar. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So, Lieli, uh, seeing that Gilbella is like comforting him, he goes for the hug and starts crying. Faye, yeah, but they're both crying, just hugging each other. Faye slowly walks forward to the uh, to the <laughs> cage and starting to see. He sees, you know, she sees handsome on the side, and then sees the body laying on the floor. No, handsome doesn't look handsome right now. He looks <laughs> fucked up right now. Hey, some people think that's handsome. <laughs> that is not handsome. <laughs> Battle scars. It is not battle stars. It is depression. <laughs> it you don't know. No, at this point here, it's like, oh, he's hot. No, <laughs> this is a oh dangerous my... person to be around right now. <laughs> oh my god, he's so dangerous. He's such a bad guy. He's got blood all over I him. I can fix him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh that's not gonna be face mentality oh at this point. No, god. I hope not. Oh, Faye I hope is not. Faye, hopefully, Faye has the wisdom. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Faye is looking at one certain just sees Ansem and then sees Nar on the floor. She drops from scared to at this point furious. Go ahead, my enemy. Let's hear it. That isn't that isn't Ansem that says that by the way. He ain't fucking sassy right now. I have to make that very clear. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you hear the shaking of, like, you, uh, you can hear the shaking of the of her voice as she goes looks directly at the other way. As soon as we finish this voyage. I will advise the guild. You are no longer part of the party. Your immediate resignation shall be assumed at the end of this voyage. And she struts away. Into trouble all the time. It's a complete transformation. I can't even like leave for execution at that point like that. Yeah, no. Uh, I'll accept those terms. Really down the dumps. You didn't want to jump around and be. Yes. If you need to DM me for consent, go ahead. I you already have my consent. <laughs> huh. Um. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. Myself actually. Um. Faith, Faith filing my res uh, my resignation to the guild party. 
It's been a week since work began to expand. Your feet are for free. Put your foot down. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It, yep. Look at that. Oh, look at I can't even joke about my feet right now. Like, I'm so fucked up right now. Like, it, like, I was sitting there doing that, but there's, like, this knot in my chest right now that, like, hurts, and I'm like, no. Uh, I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm it like... Hurts. I've it hurts. been having these moments with a big part of the And so, one side of me is, like, you killed I mean, a guy who literally just started his life. Like, he's been, he's been like just living, no, not living, like, basically surviving. Ansem attempted to But then to the moment I've been wanting as a DM finally else. happened. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, 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 drop my ass off at the Spirit Alliance, call it a day, and be done with it. <laughs> like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, like, Ansem wouldn't fight you. Ansem would actually, like, if he were to plead, plead he would say, I deserve harsher punishment. Like, <laughs> yeah. If anything, like, no, I am. Me as a me as a player, not okay. Ansem as a character is even worse. <laughs> I can't. I like. I've never driven a character to this point, and the worst part is, if this does become like the end of Ansem's story, like period, um, he still would have been like one of the best characters I've ever ran. Rude. Mm -hmm. Um. He had an amazing story, despite how short it was. Um, his ideas and ideals were amazing up until the wish. Uh, and even then, he had some great ideas. Uh, and then when this evil, like, Ansem creeps in, it, you guys saw the worst of it. Like, it, he doesn't have it under control. He's in the state right now where he cannot control it. And yeah, no, like it, it, if it's too much for, for a party to bear, like, yeah, no, fucking throw him to um, the curb, throw him overboard. No, this is like, <laughs> you know what? I was thinking this would be a long game thing. And then this session went like, <sighs> we, we zero to 60, <laughs> 60 to 120, 122. <laughs> Holy fuck, yeah, welcome I, to NASCAR. I, 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 th I, I think the only way we could retcon this was, oh, it's just a nightmare. <laughs> no, but. Don't There's something do, else. No, don't do that. I'm not doing that. There's something else we talked about. Dun, dun, dun. There's a few things that we've talked about, so I'm trying to figure out which one you're talking about. Right. There's like three things I can think of that we've talked about. It's all in your head. So you guys want to take a bit of an emotional break? Yes, please. Yes, I need, please. I need, I need a break. Yes. All right. So we'll uh, be back it, in five minutes, guys. Taking a bit short rest. I gotta let Godzilla back out I think we all need to take a drink for uh for Nar <laughs> yep. oh one out for the homies so we'll be right back guys and we have to drink for that shit yeah well technically I do alright we'll be right back nah we already saw a character die
All right. So. <laughs> you just lost the first death of your crew. In the form and of it was and it wasn't even a fucking actual occurrence either. It was me. I fucking bulldozed the crew, man. Woo! Oh, I need to be mentally prepared. Heidi. <laughs> <laughs> um all right. I'm bringing my comfort blanket because Good. this 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 is a very sad sad moment. I'm doing rocking right now. The crew the bit Please of stop. Z was not able to make it on time oh. for Vivify. <laughs> is one minute freaking by As Druid, you failed at your job. Again, I think I, I think he gets what I'm saying. Fuck. Hey, 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 hey. Well, let's not even here to talk bad about. It's not fun when they're not here. I'd rather talk bad about someone into their face than me when they're away. <laughs> that is how we not solve our issues. You should think. You should okay, think I'm going to shut up at this point because we're not getting anywhere with all my constant. Yeah, we're not getting anywhere. No. <laughs> okay. All right. The crew has been shaken at this process of mending the body together left no time for Vivify to be used. So Nar would not be able to be resurrected. And the next city would be days away. Meaning that even a raised dead spell would not function. Though many of your crew has changed over time, you do see specifically in Sid, one of the older crewmates since Nar has been a part of the ship in this new timeline. A bit more disheveled. Okay. As you're spending time with Valo, the dragon lord, one of the dragon lords that you have on, the dragon lord you have on ship. You know there's two of them in there, right? You have three? I'm sorry. This is Valos to Faye? Yes. Two, two of them, what? He messed with time. He's two people in one. Go fish. You so, know that, right? Bay uh, pauses for a moment. Just two in each of you. What do you know about this? I can see it. Uh, do you have any ones? Gives a one. Puts it down. I can see stuff that's not really there, or that most people can't see. That is quite interesting. I can help.
Well, at the moment, we are not going to be able to do that because we are in... Well, you know what happened. We'll do it at our pace. When we have time, we can do it. Hold up. Can you guys hear me? Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. You hear again. Oh. Now I have everything I can. You see, she pulls out the book to her side. This book you found her with. It looks to be a book of fairy tales and nursery rhymes. Oh, if you want me, I can read you a bedtime story when we get to sleep. Oh no, there's a secret to it. As you see, they open up to a blank page, and she writes down something in it. You're, you see as the cola, they, the water they were given, or the milk they were given, turns into a soda, as that's what they write into it. My... My brother said it was a gift. I can try helping him, if you want. How? Well. Uh-oh. She, she writes in the book. Where there was once one, now there's two. And you see as this drink splits into two. Now it's milk and then a soda to the side. I can do that for um, Mr. Horny Guy. <laughs> Never call me that again. <laughs> just, 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 just. Shush, you're not here. <laughs> you're in the break. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh. Do you miss Frozen? Yeah. Well, oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. And, and so his geek says cameras. Uh, that's fixed. Oh, well, now no, it's fixed. Fixed. <laughs> okay. Magic! Yeah, your camera works now, but stream still froze. No, I mean, like, literally, I looked at OBS, it was frozen for a second, and now it unfroze. As soon as you mentioned it, it became oh. the Pandora. It was... Yeah, it, it's taking time on my end because everything is frozen to me. Well, okay. <laughs> The chat is still going. Oh, there it there is. There it now. is. <laughs> okay. But you oh, see, you as just the two of you are in the kitchen, it's later at night, and it goes, I could try doing the same thing for him. Leo? Leo, you're muted. I am not muted. Oh, you just didn't come in. You're not... Yeah. Yeah. She says, all right, let's try that, but you need to keep you at a distance, because, well, I don't want you to get hurt. I'll be okay. All right, I'm trusting you on this one. He's not moving all up, good. All right, as you guys walk down to the brig. You see for a second. Well, you hear the footsteps, Ansem. Hi. You shouldn't be down here. I'm here to help you. I'm pretty sure that the only hope that anyone can offer right now is to kill me. So. You hear the other you, huh? How do you know about the other me? I can see. There's two of you in each of you. Two in Auntie Faye. Two in That's the cute. Jester Lady. <laughs> Thank you. 
because of the time change. Mm -hmm. Well, how can you help me then? Perfect, thank you. Well, I need to know. What's your real name? What you were born with? I didn't put any thought in that whatsoever. Was that something that I was supposed to do? No, it just ask in case you have a different. If you change your name over time, I think it'd be interesting if that if it was the case. Um. Uh. Yes. Yeah. No, I I, I can't ignore. <laughs> I did. Um, annoying. And some Aferion. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and you see as Faye. As you see them start to write. Everything goes like for a second. And Ansem, you see as Faye locks into place. Like frozen almost. Thousand yard stare. Just heads up, both you and stream are frozen. Yeah, I yeah. Mm -hmm. I can still, luckily, we can still be heard. Oh, okay, okay, that's I'm, fine. That's why I'm keeping going instead of saying, "Okay, stop." Mm -hmm. um, and what was the last name again? Oh, Ifarion. Uh, Ifarion. As they, you see, and write down Ansem Ifarion. Or one where there was one, now there's two. In service of the mirror. However, Faye, you don't remember the last part of the sober one where there was one. You only see the first one. Or your conscience only sees the first one. As Ansem. Give me a con save. So the next time. Oh, we woo. We love con saves right now. Oh. And of course, I uh, roll high. Uh, 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 twenty-six. All right. You feel <laughs> as this is written. They say, "Okay." <laughs> as you feel a pain rush over your body, it tenses up for a second, and. You're, you're able to keep conscious during this, but you feel something pulled of you. For a moment, you see a shadowy figure. I didn't really. Shit. Pull out. Damn it! We gotta wait for the response, folks.
Everything's starting to feel fun. Damn it, can this work please? I would love to. I would love you to work. something that should happen yeah. like I, I'm not I, I'm not going to stop the party from deciding something like that because something bad enough happened oh yeah what I mean oh uh, we were just talking we were talking about well I was talking about how like if it did result in Ansem having to leave at the current moment it's up in the air it's a situation of I'm being yeah. split in two right now so it's like it all depends on how everyone's feeling at that point but Oh hi, Mark. Oh hi. <laughs> yeah, no. Mark is here saying hi. Mark, 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 well, he's saying more than just hi right now. He's yeah. trying to find out why the fuck Nar's dead. Oh, I told him. Uh, <laughs> Danny, Danny, yeah, Danny gave him the rundown right. after he popped in here. So. <laughs> yeah. You see. Can Nar on the ship now? Ah. <laughs> For a moment. You feel this pain. As Faye, you notice, kid starts to write down this book. You hear in the back, you're, you, basically what you hear, Ansem, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no peeking. You see Faye give a thousand yard stare. You hear, you're giving it oh, like basically okay. Faye shutting down almost and giving a thousand yard stare. You then get the sensation, this horrid pain coursing through your body. Every muscle tensing, blood vein, like your heart feels like it's going to burst out of your chest. Fun. And before you fall unconscious from the pain, mm -hmm. you see what looks like a shadowy version of you. This is different, though. 
and it's but it's a voice that you've heard so many times since that wish has happened and just increasing since ending, entering this land of chaos. It dissipates for a moment. And now, you find yourself unconscious. Faye, wake up. In the room, unsure of what had happened, you remember getting help from the kid. Nansen, roll me a wisdom save. It's a six. It's a six. All right. You do not fully remember what had happened, so you remember seeing a shadowy being being torn from your body. Something that looked like that thing that has been. You've been hearing yeah, since the wish was done. So mm -hmm. The first time off. that you don't hear She's not very tame, little so whispers. That would give. This is not very safe. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure I still hear whispers. Probably no problem over and over and over in my head. Um, That's not going on with Pastor. It's just frustrating for the owner and for myself. It means we're still taking us longer to get our job done. We run away from the fence and the door True, wait. I don't want to go sign there. Uh, before anyone does anything, I need to understand clearly. What exactly do I not remember? You don't, uh, you don't send me your last name on in text, the, 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 car the other last name, please, right. so I can yeah. remember it. Yep. Because I'm having my brain not working so good today. Fair enough. As far as you know, you have always been Ansem Caldera. Okay. You remember bits and pieces of your life in Spira. Mm -hmm. So most of it comes from the outcast guild now. Mm -hmm. Blurs. So we had to six or seven They went really well. We had There's two of you. And that he could help. Charles is the one you guys I like how Heidi said it looks like a bird free range. <laughs> they go a lot about. I joined for shenanigans and malarkey. You guys will fart me home. That's supposed to come all the way right. out here. They have a water sea claw, but it's going to be. Your memories are bits and pieces. Yeah, so you remember parts of your life. What do you call it? Some parts of it are gone. Yeah. Thanks, Gabby. Just around the corner. That you have been split into two. You're unsure of this. You've been home. When we get outside that, it's out of violence. Are you guys dead? Um, no matter what, regardless if I woke up somewhere else, regardless of whether or not. Okay. Okay. Right. Um, can't change time. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, regardless of if the cell is opened or not, I'm staying in the cell, period. Like, right. there, Ansem, Ansem is not going to leave the cell at this moment in time. Mm hey. -hmm. Um, what are you doing? Bang about what are about to you doing? Use. Uh, is the kid is still on the ship? Yeah, the kid's still on the ship. Oh, it's alright. You can see as they're playing with a act new action figure. Well, new to you. That is an interesting action. Sorry, <clears throat> hiccups. That is an interesting action figure. 
Mr. Lizardman made it for me. And you see as its intricate design almost looks like Ansem. What? <laughs> what? Can, can, you re can you repeat that one more time? <laughs> the kids looks at Faye as the kids up playing in oh. this action figure they have in their hands. It looks a lot like Ansem. <laughs> that is remarkable craftsmanship. All right. Um, just don't get distracted. We are... We are still, like, days away to get into our destination, so stick that. And if you need to eat anything, let me know. I'm getting the hiccup problems. I'm so sorry. Why does it seem like you want to eat from, like, a morning to, okay, just be good. <laughs> Wait, you're just Gordon Ramsay right now. Faye's just Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> she's a nice she she's a wonderful person but she's like stern and mean when she needs to, to the be. children oh you've doing no 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 cheer you up see, cheer up start, cheer up <laughs> and then to the crew okay. fuck you stop. fuck you stop. fuck you well stop. since technically kid fuck him too <laughs> <laughs> all right but yeah and you fuck you in particular to the goblin <laughs> yeah <laughs> You're cool. I don't know who. Probably Gilbella. Yeah, you're or cool. Arbuckle. Yeah, you're cool. <laughs> Gilbella says you're cool. All right, but yeah. Okay. As I've been going for a while. As before anything in startup. You hear? Uh, well, as you are in the captain's quarters, Faye. Sorting out any notes, talking to Navi on the charted course today. Mm -hmm. uh, passing through uh, Marhok Pass. We, uh, uh, Faye now has the role of captain. 16 days into your travel. You see as a kobold emerges in, delivering a message. The last... One of the Kobe's emerges in. This one here. Fine suit. Uh, they have a sword to their side, a shield on the back. Handing you a message. Looks like you're going, I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. <laughs> Thank you. Alright. Alright. I don't know where that came from. Uh, uh, that is fine. Uh, uh, here. It's a guild... Basically, an end-of-life message. Each guild member has one. And it's typically sent to the next of kin or the closest family they had. This one's for Nar. Oh. Addressed to the crew, the poor choice. All right, let's listen. <laughs> All right, reading over it. Okay, I guess I died. Think about I it. Like this, I think about it. Not that I understand it. So basically, uh, and then, well, I know you guys probably don't want it right. to hear yeah. this, but well, the time on the ship was great. You guys were the first family I had. I want to thank you. Um, there's a favor I have to ask. My footlocker, false bottom, with the pouches of gold. When you have time, bring that to my brother. My mom. Yeah. 
I'm glad it's nice. I I great. So yeah. At least I finally got a lift. <laughs> And tell my mom and my brother, I'm sorry I couldn't come back. People like uh, to assume that the rest of these songs need to have a big part. Sarah? Fine. She's going to need that role of the for for saying another word. Hidden sobbing is coming out of Faye. She like she she is holding her hand to her face at this point and starts to sob. Not only that she lost a crew member, but a best one of her greatest friends. Good job. 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 Good and the storm itself, and even just being in here, seems to have an effect on the mind. And as you're in your cell, give me a perception check. Uh, perception. Uh, it's a uh, sixteen. 16. I'll still, in your, in your time of mourning, as life was taken, essentially by you, or not under your control, you see out of the porthole of the brig, a massive ship emerging from the blackened clouds of the Marhawk. Two, maybe three times bigger than the poor choice. Instead of a bow, instead of having just a bow on the front, it looks like a massive bow. Flying the flag of what you have learned from your time with Arbuckle is a symbol of the Pure Miles. Though the ship itself is tattered. Jackson's tail is straight. Strong. As if it should be slight words. Sleep on the same as soon as we're not. But we'll deal with that next week. Yeah. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for sticking around the song if you have. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Oh, much all. Um, we are going to be raiding out. Oh, Miss Fiddler's alive! It's going to be a snowy Thanksgiving. We're gonna be raining uh, out to friends to give and the other Leo. Yeah, it's just a certain guys okay. That's a loaded question. No, I'm gonna I I I'm quite literally typing out a letter I'm going to send to you. No, what did I do? I have a serious Stop leaving us in a clip hanger! <laughs> Well, yeah. well, to, that's how, that's how to be right fair, now. this was supposed to. I did not think any of this would happen. This was supposed to happen halfway through the session. And then Luna's like, it's just going to go full evil mode and shove the goblin off the ship. I mean, that I, I kind of I kind of gave like clues to that in campaign chat, stating that the goblin, something was going to happen to the goblin. Oh, I knew something I was going to happen to the goblin, but it was one of those things of like, Things escalated so quickly that I don't think that I was able to, like, react as well as I could have. And so it just got to a point. To, and the thing was, is I rolled again once Calm Emotions was put on me. I rolled again to see if, um, if after Calm Emotions wore off, if I was just going to be okay. Dice hate me, so I raged. Hey, and... Hey. 
amazing story though yeah and uh now I'm, now i'm writing out a letter <laughs> make sure to keep calling geek on we're writing out to a good friend of the guild miss fiddler go tell him hi you see most of you got him and above all else thank you so much for sticking around the song and thank you to my players for making this an amazing session and thank you for the dm for the amazing story Thank you, DM. Yeah, thank, thank you, DM. DM. And guys, make sure to thank your DMs, it's even soft. when they kill off that NPC you did not know you cared about. <laughs> Why does it have to come to this? And we're up.